Okay, so I am uh, working on my millipede now. I am going to install a multipede chip. So it will play millipede and centipede. Um, just with uh, clicking on the start buttons, it will uh, switch it over from one to the other. So I already took out my board. There's a pair of scissors in here. This is, I got it. Uh, when I bought it, it came this way with a pair of scissors glued to the floor. Um, local collector. Um, got it from a local collector. Uh, I'm sure he probably got it cheap and just did the bare minimum to fix it. Probably. Something like that. Anyway. <laughs> So, anyway, it's a working millipede, and uh, that is actually what you need to check for when you install a millipede braze millipede multi-chip. So here's the millipede board. So if the millipede is not working, then uh, don't install this. Uh, so basically you want to test to make sure it's working and go into your test mode on your millipede uh, with your test switch and make sure all your test functions are working also. If they're not, um, uh, actually the manufacturer of the chip suggests that you don't uh, install the multi multi-peed chipset unless those things are working. So here's my uh, multi-peed chipset in a bag. I am going to show you what chips to pull out and what to put the multi-chip set in. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull it out of this bag and then I will come back and show you. Okay, so as you can see, I have my hands free, woo, so I can uh, do this. So, this is the chip that we need to pull out. And then we're going to basically stick it in here. I didn't have to go ahead and pull this one out and install it into this. Okay, so screwdriver, you can use any flathead screwdriver probably. Um, longer one than this would be better, but this is all I got found. So I'm just gonna gently wiggle so I can get it underneath and gently pull up evenly. You want to do that on both sides. Just gonna wiggle it in there so I can get underneath. Careful not to ruin anything else on the board. And just work your way up slowly on both sides until it pops out. Now notice uh, on these chips, there's a little notch. Anyway, so this little notch always goes on the notch side of the, of the brackets, okay? And this one here um, is a 40 pin, okay? So, if you look on the brace multi-kit there's your notch right up there. So the notch goes in there. So, gently, I'm going to look at all the pins, make sure none of them bent. They look really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in nice and evenly on top. Just kind of lay it in there at first. Make sure you got all of them in. Your pins in. This has been going pretty tight, so I'm just kind of <laughs> squeezing the pins just a little bit so they'll go there. Oh, almost snapped into place. And it popped out because of the force. So, keep working it gently until it snaps into place, gently push it in evenly so none of the pins bend, ok, 
Okay, and just keep that on there. There we go. All nice and in. Careful not to break these pins here, which I actually did on an Asteroids kit that I did had. Busted about two or three pins and uh, ended up giving it to a friend and he fixed it um, and put it in his Asteroids so he could play some competitions. So that was awesome. At least it was resalvageable. So, again, you have your notch up here on top. The notch goes on top. And you very gently make sure all your pins are in line and you can't see that. So, line them up. Make sure none of the pins are out. Push down nice and slowly, rocking it just a little bit back and forth. And it looks like this thing here is going to be in the way a little bit. Let's find out here. Try that again. There it is. Let's see, see it in there now. Okay. So, next thing is to put this one in. And, uh, I'll show you where to put that in. It replaces another couple of chips. Okay, so here's the other chips you need to pull out. They're labeled 106 and 107. Um, look on the location of the board. So the location for the first uh, daughter board is up here, which is right here. Okay. So these ones are right here. So I'm just going to get my hands free here. And, uh, just gently pull these out. Wiggle. Now, they do make tools for this where you can pull them out evenly, which is the trick. If you have a screwdriver, just you know, take it out nice and slow. They also make screwdrivers that are more like a pry bar, this size, and that's really good for this too. It works a little better than this. But if this is all you got, just go slower. See, that one side pulled out. I do not want to just yank the other side out because I do not want to break the original chips. I don't want to bend any of these. See? Go nice and slow. See, that one bent a little bit. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and store it in a safe place. The second one, nice and slow. Kind of rock it back and forth like this and then prying it also at the same time. You don't want to pull one side out faster than the other because what happens is then that's how you bend the pins. There you go, nice and beautiful. Let's store this one on the other side of this for now. I'll go ahead and put them on this one here in a second. So the next step is to gently prepare the board set. Your second daughter board here. Serious, uh, serious pins there. Okay, so this just goes directly into here, and there is no special trick to it. Just make sure that all these pins are directly into the 24 pin sockets. Here we go. Make sure that all of them are in there, and you just 
once you got them in, started, wiggle it. go it looks like it's sitting up a little bit I'll show you here in a second okay so the pins are really long so they are going to stick up like this um, when you're done make sure that uh, you know everything's in the proper place both daughter cards are in proper place that this wire is not all tangled and wrapped around things you know you don't want it to caught on anything or anything like that. So, now the next step is to stick it back in the machine. Okay, so here's the board installed. When you reinstall it, make sure you're nice and gentle with your pins here. Those things get busted a lot. Well, I have seen a few. So, sl slid it right in there and uh, everything looks good. Just like uh, when I first got it, I'm gonna move this back up around here so it's out of the way. That didn't work. Um, tightened my board up with the screwdriver, very loosely of course, but just so it wouldn't move around. So now I'm gonna turn it on and okay, see what so here we are. I'll turn the slide off so you'll easy to see the screen. But looks like my millipede started up just fine. Um, yeah, I'll turn this light on anyway. So, I'm supposed to hit both of these. I'm supposed to, oh, look at there, centipede. Nice. So, now I have both centipede and millipede in my game. So happy. It'll be fun.